everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we're gonna to be using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, the face palette in light. Now, I've already done one on the dark palette. I, I will show you the comparisons between the two today, and I'll also do the comparisons between the mini nude to the light and the mini glam to the dark and see if there are some similarities. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm just gonna pull my hair back really quickly. So as I said in my intro, we're gonna be doing the Glam Face Palettes today, the Natasha Denona. I've already done the dark one. Today we're gonna to focus on the light, but I'm gonna do comparisons of both, so I'll swatch them both out so you can see what they look like and what the differences and the similarities are. And then I will do the Mini Glam Palette and the Mini Nude Palette. We'll see if they're similar to either one of these palettes. These are well loved, you can tell they're a little bit a little bit dirty, sorry about that. Um, my voice is a little scratchy, I apologize. I have been running around, so this is gonna be a little life update, don't worry, I'll have timestamps so you can jump right to the comparisons if you'd like. Um, but because you know my mom got uh, had surgery and uh, we moved her to, I moved her to rehab and I've been running back and forth taking care of things, um, I am a little run down. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, and uh, caught a cold. Don't have anything worse than that. Got all the tests done. Just a cold, um, and my voice is just, you know, like scratchy, so I just wanna apologize for that. Um, and the other thing I wanna mention is that I am gonna be going away for a girls weekend. It's a girls weekend that I have done, wow, we, we did like, I'm trying to remember how many we did. I think we did like six or seven of them just every year. Um, two girlfriends and I would go to this place in Florida every single year. And um, in 2019, we didn't go because just work got crazy and we always go in November and everybody was just really busy. And then of course, everything happened. So we have not gone for this girl's weekend in three years. It'll be three years when we go. And uh, I was gonna cancel after everything happened with my mother. I was like, oh, well, I can't, I can't go. Um, but I have her in a really good uh, rehab facility. They're doing a great job, taking great care of her. We have a timeline to get her uh, back home, which will be after um, at my girls weekend. So, you know, I'll come back and then take care of all that. So uh, I am gonna go because I, <laughs> one, I, I can't wait to, to see my friends. And two, I, I need, I need a I need a mini vacation. Um, I'm sure we all do, right? So uh, I'm telling you all of this one just because a lot of you have asked about how my mom's doing, and I really greatly appreciate that she's doing. She's really making great progress. I mean, there's a lot to do, but you know, she's out of the she's out of the area where we were concerned about her her health. I mean, we have a lot to do to get her back on her feet, but it's going in the right direction. So thank you again for everyone who, who reached out and asked. Um, but two, I'm gonna be gone, <laughs> gone for like four days uh, over a weekend. And that's usually when I film because of um, my job. So uh, I'm trying to get in a bunch of videos <laughs> before I leave in addition to everything else. And I don't know how well that's gonna go. I don't know how, how I'm gonna do there. So um, just, hey, you know, heads up that there might be some missing. And if there are, you'll know why. Uh, just like to be transparent about things so nobody uh, nobody wonders. All right, so let's dive into the palettes. And uh, like I said, I'll have timestamps, so you can jump right into this part if you'd like. Um, okay, so here is what she is called the dark palette, and here's the light palette. They both have the really reflective, really pretty surface. You can see this one I've had for a while because it's dirty. Um, to mention that, you know, the fact that I've had this for a while, when this went up on my YouTube channel, it had already been up on my Patreon um, site. So when I am able to get products early, I do put them up, I do videos on them, put them up over on Patreon. And really what that has to do with is, until something's officially released, you really can't put it on YouTube or Instagram. So that was over on Patreon before it was on YouTube. And I have other ones over there right now products that haven't come out yet and so what i do is i record the video i put it up there and then when it is released i put it up on youtube so sometimes between the time i put it up on patreon and the time i put it up on youtube more information has come out that's not in the video um but that i mean but the product is the same so i just wanted to mention that in case people had questions because some people were like yeah there is a bl uh, dark and a light palette and i was like well i know that now <laughs> i did not know that when i was recording this um all right so dark and light palettes Let's pull them up like this so you can see the difference in 
just in the pan. I'm gonna hold it back far enough. And then we'll do swatches, of course. And I'll take the plastic down in just a second. But that's how it looks. So it's the same setup. I like the little plastic um, covering for the cream blush. A lot of you asked about the highlighter and if that's cream. It's not, it's a powder, but it's a very soft powder. Um, it has a really unique formula. And my understanding is that the, the highlighter is a, is a new formula and the shades KS that I could not figure out in the dark palette, I kept going KS, what in the world's KS? Uh, a lot of you suggested crystal shimmer because K in her other palettes is crystal and S is shimmer. I'm gonna guess you're right on that and that's what it is. I haven't heard her say specifically and I'm sure I've just missed it because everything going on. Um, but she did say that it was a new formula. So that's why I didn't, that's why I had no idea what it was because it is a new formula. So those are all the shades. Let the camera kind of zoom in there. And the I think it's the same amount shelf life. Yeah, 18 months. I'm just double checking. I don't see why it would be any different, but um, yeah, 18 months. Um, and you have the blush, the highlighter, and then the five shades. Now, if you look at the size of the pans in the eyeshadows, they are, from what I could tell, about the same size that's in these mini palettes. Um, but I don't have, let me see if I can find out if the, um, the weight is the same. So in the mini palettes, the, the five pieces are 0.8 grams. And in this, let's see if I, I'm gonna need a magnifying for, glass for this because it's really tiny. Um, it says total weight is 0.13 grams. So I can't tell how it's broken out because that's for everything in there. But if this is 0.8 grams, each one of these um, minis, and eight times five is 40, then I would think this is smaller. It's interesting, because it says total net weight, 0.13 grams. And these minis say five pieces times 0.8 grams each. Yeah, I mean, that would be, eight times five is 40, right? I'm not losing my mind. Eight times five is 40, yeah. Okay, and this says total weight, 0.13 grams. Something seems off to me. Can't be that much smaller, can it? Okay, uh, that's what it says. So, either I'm missing something, and I no longer can do math, which would be surprising. This has less in it. So maybe the pans are more shallow? I guess it's possible. I mean, the size, they look a little bigger. They look like the size, if you look at the, the regular glam palette and then you look at these, these look a tiny bit smaller than the size. Like, see what I mean? It's like a tiny bit smaller, but maybe they're just not very deep. It just doesn't make sense because your highlighter and the and the blush must have, all right, that's something I'm gonna have to figure out for later because I don't want it to take up the entire video, but that's just odd. All right, so let's swatch. Um, let's, do, let's do the dark palette and then we'll put the light palette next to it. So let's do the dark palette, let's do the cream blush in here. I really do like this cream blush formula. I think it's very nice. Um, I put it on very lightly when I did my video because I knew I was using the dark uh, palette. So let me show you uh, what it can look like when you build it up. It's definitely a deep blush. It can work for people that are a lot uh, deeper than me. So I didn't want anyone to feel like you know, since I was able to use it, that it wouldn't work. I, I really do think that should work pretty well. Okay, so now let's take the light one um, and see what that looks like next to it. 
Same formula. Feels like the same formula. Yeah, definitely. Not only is the the hue lighter, but it's just not as deep. It's not a deep as uh, not a deep uh, shade. What I mean by that is like you can have a color that is um, deeper hue, like it's like a like a midnight black or a midnight blue. I'm sorry, midnight blue. So it's got a very dark blue to it, or a very light blue like a periwinkle. Um, but each one can be very pigmented or not very pigmented. It can be sheer. So when it comes to color, it's not always just about the shade, whether it's a light or dark shade. It's also the depth of the shade um, and how much like it, it'll deposit. So this, these two shades actually have a very similar hue. They've got this sort of peachy. This one has a little bit more red to it. Um, but they're in the same family. This is just a much lighter shade and it has less pigment to it. It's not as deep as this one here. But I think they'll, like I use this one very lightly, it probably ended up looking a lot like this when I smoothed it out on my face. Okay, so let's use the Star Glow. And like I said, it's a powder, but it's like this super soft, almost cream-like powder. That's the dark highlighter. And again, I used it very lightly. I could actually use this, I think, almost as like a blush or a blush topper because it has that peachy tone to it. And the light one, you can see, um, it is a warm peachy highlighter, still very pigmented. Um, same, same color family. You've got this sort of peach undertone. I would say though that the dark one has more gold to it. Okay, so let's go through the shades. Um, the way she has it placed in the dark palette is outer corner transition, smoke, inner corner increase. She has it in a different lineup in the light. She has inner corner transition, crease, outer corner, and smoke. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the shades. In other words, outer corner with outer corner, smoke with smoke. You get the idea. Okay, so let's do the outer corner and the dark. And you only really need one swatch, but I'll do two so that you can just see it really well. That's outer corner in dark. And let's do outer corner in light. Now these are very different shades. These, if you look at these two, this one is much more of a bronze and this one is much more of a copper. You do have a similar undertone, like under sparkle, if you will. Like the sparkle that's in this one actually looks a lot like this, but this is just that on its own. It's more, it's definitely more sparkly. More shiny. Transition. Dark shade. To me, this looks like a real, like terracotta. Really beautiful shade. Love that one. And then the transition in the Natasha Denona. There we go. And I got a lot of comments about a lot of, of you do like the, you know, the smoke inner corner transition names, which is great. If you, if you like that, it helps you figure out where to put things. I think that's awesome. I mean, for me, the reason I don't particularly love it is I think it can be just, I think it's difficult because it depends on your coloring to decide whether it works for you. However, if you know that and you just use them the way that you want to use them, and if you use them the way she suggests, and it doesn't work for you, you can find other ways to use them. So, all right, smoke in the deep or in the dark. This is a really deep, really good chocolate brown. I really like that shade. I think you could do like so much with that shade, like deepening up other looks. Um, it's, it's a great smoke color. Okay, now we use it in light. This one is more like a milk chocolate color, much lighter. Then let's move to inner corner in the deep. 
This was the one I put all over my eye. Really shimmery shade. It looks more like the outer corner shade in the light. I'd say it's still more, um, it's a little bit deeper though. And it has more shimmer, like more, um, and for this is like more sparkly and this has more like shimmer. Let's do the inner corner here in the light palette. I'm running out of arms, so I'll have to use the outer part of my arm. So that's the inner corner. That is much, much lighter, obviously, than the inner corner here. In fact, it looks a lot like the highlighter, shade-wise, in the light palette. Very similar shade. And then let's take the crease shade. We'll put that on the um, outside of my arm here. This is the crease shade in the dark. And let's use the crease shade in the light. There we go. So I'd say overall the, the, the um, color palette. So here, these two to these four here. These are the blush and the highlights. This is the eyeshadows, and then this is the the, cre the crease one here. I think these shades are, are you know in the same family. They are, I still think, warm, although they lean more cool than the uh, dark palette does. I still say it's a warm palette though. A little bit cooler, maybe a little bit more neutral, but warm leaning. Let's use the light palette today on the face. Don't worry, I am gonna do the comparisons to the mini glam and the mini nude with the shades that are in here. Uh, we'll do that after we do the look. Okay, let's do the same thing we did last time. Um, let's do the highlighter first. Uh, what brush did I use for the highlighter? I used very soft brushes for the highlighter because it was um, more intense. So I will use a soft highlight brush today as well. Let's use the KZ03. It picks up really easily. <laughs> so even though this is, you know, a light palette, uh, Natasha Denona products are pigmented. So um, I probably would still use a fluffy light brush um, just because I don't really like a ton of highlighter. I like a little bit of it. So, but you know, it's up to you. You can always use something that has uh, more density and therefore will distribute more product. Okay, yeah, that's a beautiful highlighter. And definitely more um, appropriate for my skin tone, but I think lots of people could use this. It's a very pretty, um, I'd say it's almost neutral highlighter. It reminds me a little bit of the Chantecaille one that uh, came out for the holiday. I'd have to do a comparison, but I think it's similar. I have to do a comparison between this, these highlighters and the blushes uh, between the other highlighters and the blushes. I need to get around to that. Hopefully I'll, I'll have some time. Um, all right, so the blush, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna use my finger, because I just feel like, you know, that's the best way to, to be fair um, in comparing the two looks. Now you can see, like, immediately, this blush is a lot less pigmented, because when I used the other one, I basically, <laughs> I basically dabbed, like, one little piece on my face, and then I was like, okay, rub it in. Um, and this one I have to actually build up a little bit. So, um, this will definitely work for somebody who is pale to light, but if you like a more intense blush, um, I would recommend the dark palette, to be honest with you, because I'm pretty pale and I, you know, feel like I'm putting not a lot on, but, you know, a reasonable amount to build up the shade. So if you like, you know, a very bright blush or more blush, I think the dark palette might be, might be better. Okay, so let's do the shades. And I'm gonna do it exactly like I did it with the other one. I'm gonna follow her, uh, you know, crease transition as much as possible. Because this is a light palette, I should be able to do it exactly how it's laid out. Um, well, relatively. So let's try that. 
Um, let's do the transition shade first. We're gonna go in with the Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the A503. Uh, and I did pick up the BK Beauty uh, lips, the liners and the lipsticks. I hope to film that before I go. That's, that's also on my list. All right, so let's try, this is the transition shade. I would say this is maybe like two shades deeper than my skin, somewhere in that range. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, transition over here. As I do this, the Sephora sale holiday sale is uh, upon us. I spent way too much money, but I always do. And I, and I never regret it because the things I buy are always things that like I use all the time or I've really wanted to buy for quite some time and they're 20% off. So like I would have bought them anyway. I just wouldn't have bought them all at once. Um, let's use the crease. Um, let me get a... Um, I'm gonna use her uh, A502 brush to the crease. I also picked up the new Tom Ford um, foundation, a foundation, the new Tom Ford um, perfume. The, I think it's a bean smoke or whatever, the, I've forgotten the name. It, it's really nice. Um, if you like smoky scents, like sweet smoky scents, if you like uh, Killian's Back to Black or Cruel Intentions, you'll like it. It's, it's gorgeous. Uh, but it is a very smoky and I, I guess some would say masculine scent. I don't view it that way, but you know, it, it, there's no floral in there. It's, it's a smoky little bit like sweet scent. Um, but I loved it. I was like, oh goodness, I have to, I mean, I sniffed it and I was like, oh, must have it, must have it. So yeah, absolutely love it. Okay, so that's the transition in the crease. That works really well, really, really well. Um, and then they have outer corner and inner corner and then the smoke. I'm gonna do it a little differently. I'm gonna use the outer corner on my eyelid and then I'm gonna use the inner corner on my inner corner and then I'm gonna smoke it out. So let me smoke it out a little bit First, um, let's use the AO4. And I, what I usually do is put a little bit on like the outer corner, just to make sure that it's like the kind of sh what I want as a shade. And then I will put the eyeshadow shade for my lid on over it and then I'll go back over it. Um, Cause I like to have a little bit more intensity on the outer corner before I put the um, the uh, lid shade on. I don't do it always like this. You know, it does depend. I kind of, sometimes I make up the look as I'm going along and sometimes I have an idea looking at a palette like specifically what I want to do. So it does depend, but I, I find this is a good way to just sort of like see, okay, this is the shade I like. This is kind of what I want um, before I put on the lid shade. Just putting it little bit in the lower, just a little bit down there. I'll run it through the lower lash line more uh, carefully in a second. Okay, so I love that. I'm gonna take a Wayne Goss 03 and just buff out this top part just a little, pulling that transition shade up into the brow a little bit. I think you could use the inner corner shade up in the brow and I might do a little bit of that. We'll see um, on how it looks. All right, let's use Let's use the, I'm gonna use the Angie uh, Hot and Flashy. This is the 505, A505. Let's use the outer corner shade. Let's see how well this picks this up because this is a sparkly shade. Seems to be working well. Um, and kind of pat it on the eye. Sweep a little bit. Yeah, that works, okay. Just gonna build this up on the eyelid. With these types of shades, I like to kind of pat them in a little bit and then drag. I feel like you get better payoff that way. Or you can use your finger. You don't have to do it that way. I just feel like you get like, I think you get more payoff that way. It looks a little bit more 
um, shiny. <laughs> you can also use like the uh, Pat McGrath wand, which is really good, or you know any other kind of um, glue. You know what I mean? Not eye glue. Eye glue. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Obviously, I need some need some sleep. Please do not put eye glue on. <laughs> Okay, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take that smoke shade again. I'm gonna use the um, 502, so this is a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna blow out the outer corner a little bit with that deeper shade. I'm really liking the set of brushes. Uh, I know the set is uh, the Angie Hot and Flashy brushes are sold out right now. Um, but if they come back in stock, I would really strongly encourage picking them up. They really are beautiful. They work really well. I do have more mature skin. I have also reactive skin and I haven't had any issues with them and they perform beautifully. Okay, so let's use the inner corner shade. Um, if I can find my inner corner brush. There we go. Okay, inner corner shade. Yeah, that works really well. It's a very pretty light, icy kind of shade. Really good for inner corner. I think you could also use it uh, up in like the brow area just a little bit. It's very sparkly, so if you don't like a sparkly brow area, if you'd want you know more of a matte, it's not gonna be great for you, but it is very pretty. Um, and you can also use it over the eye look, uh, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So I'm just gonna buff this in a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. And so I'm gonna take that inner corner shade, I'm just gonna put it on my finger, I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on top. It really does, it looks really pretty. All right, then we'll take the, um, let's use the crease shade and run it under the lash line here. I'm gonna use this Dior brush. It's like a stamp brush. Um, but I think this might work, yeah. I've been trying out the uh, Dior brushes that I got with that set with the um, Dior, uh, you know, holder. And I would say some of the brushes are very soft and really nice. Like this one, this is the, you know, basically an eyelash, an eyelash. This is like a stamper brush. You can like put liner on with this. This brush is really soft and I actually really like this one. Um, and this one, which is, I think, I'm not exactly sure what this is for. But this brush is really good. I like this one. Um, this brush is really nice. This is the, which one is this? 21 brush. But this one, which is the number 16, is actually pretty stiff. And it's like not particularly soft. Um, it's not terrible. It's just not a really soft brush and my skin gets, you know, irritated. Um, all right, so I think that's the final look. It's a really pretty palette. Um, it's definitely lighter than the dark palette. Um, and I'd say it's a little bit more neutral. It's not cool, but it's not as warm as, as the dark palette. So let me get you up close so you can see before I put mascara on and before we try um, comparing it to the mini palette. Okay. So there is the light palette. I mean, it's really pretty. It's really, really nice. Definitely more suited um, to my uh, pale skin. Highlighter, blush. Yeah, I think it looks, it looks really nice. So let me put on some mascara to finish off the look. And then we'll come back. I will have washed off my arm. And uh, we'll do comparisons between both and the minis. Okay, we're back. We have mascara on. Um, I really like the look. I think it's very pretty. I think it's a very good everyday, my my definition of everyday look. This is something that would be great to wear to the office. It's great to wear just running around. It's really beautiful. It's a, I think it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit more neutral, uh, but I still think it's warm leaning. I think on me, things tend to go cooler. So I think on other folks, it's gonna be still warm. But on me, I think it's it's a pretty good neutral. I love the shades. I, seriously, this is like a great, I might even take this to Girls Weekend. This is a really good, like you can wear it anywhere kind of palette. Like, and it's really easy to use because you've got the blush and the highlighter in there. 
you only need one palette. That's actually very convenient. So this might be coming with me. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's very, very pretty. I am more drawn to the dark palette because the shades in here are more intense um, and they're more like bronzy and I like those types of shades. They do remind me of the shades in the bronze palette, not the shades in the glam palette, to be frank. But what I would say is they're not the same shades, or at least Natasha Denona has said they're not the same shades. And they, they aren't the same shades, at least from the names, because these are named Outer Corner, Transition, Smoke, etc. And the only palette that has that is the Glam Palette, um, eyeshadow palette. If I look at the Mini Glam Palette, it says Golden Flash Harlow Anjo Seed and Fay, And there's no chaos shades in here. Um, the shades look, to me, much, much cooler than the shades in this palette. So I don't think there really is, I, I don't see any similarities at all. I will swatch the smoke shade in here. This is the dark palette. Um, so that's the smoke shade. And let's try it next to the, the dark brown that's in the mini. Yeah, they're not even the same. They're similar. You can see the one in the, in the mini is much warmer. This is cooler. And honestly, it's not as smooth. It's not as, uh, the one in the face palette is actually much smoother and goes on, in my opinion, easier. Um, let's try, this is, shade in the, um, in the mini glam. Yeah, no, the shade is, they're both very different. So I don't think the mini glam and the dark glam actually have the same shades at all. I would say though, they're similar. They're not like so different that, you know, you wouldn't think they were in the same quote family, but I think the ones in the glam palette in the dark look more like the bronze palette. And in fact, just look unique. I, I just, I think they look different. Um, now the light palette, here's the light palette that we just used. And here is the nude palette. Let's put them up like this. So let's do a comparison of those. Um, okay, so the really deep shade in the mini here. Interesting, it's not as smooth. Um, the ones in the face palette are much smoother. And here's the comparison to the smoke shade. So those are very different. And then the other matte in the mini nude is like a camel shade. Uh, let's try the transition. Nope, it's actually much cooler. It's interesting. So here's the, the mini nude. Here's the glam face in um, light, mini nude, glam face in night, in light. And let's try, let's try the, I think this shade might be the closest. This is the, that's the mini nude, probably one of my favorite shades of all time. What was the name of that shade? Bronze, bronze Age? Yeah, Bronze Age. Uh, let's try Outer Corner. I think it's gonna be very different, yeah. Bronze Age looks more like the um, Glam Face palette, but, but it's bronzer, <laughs> bronzier than, than the Glam Face, even in the dark. It's really interesting. Um, the lightest shade in the mini. Here's the lightest shade in the mini. And let's compare that to the inner corner in the face palette. No, 
They are not the same, guys. These are different, different shades, different formulas. Yes, very similar color stories. They're not drastically different, but the shades are not the same. So if you have a mini nude, the mini nude is warmer, bronzier than even the deep palette. Both the light and dark glam palettes are cooler, even though they go warm on me like that um, because there's a terracotta shade in there. Uh, overall, they're cooler than the mini nude and then the mini glam. That's so interesting. So if you do have mini nude and you have mini glam, these are still different shades. Are they so drastically different that you must run out and get them? No, but nothing is. I mean, in my opinion, you know, good neutral shades, good cool neutral shades, good neutral warm shades, they are gonna look kind of similar. You're not gonna have such a drastic difference in shade. However, the curation can make a huge difference. And for me, something like this is, is a really nice set of shades to put together because I don't have to hunt for a whole bunch of different shades that'll work together. And this is a palette that I can carry with me. Like I said, I might take this to Girls Weekend because I know it's gonna work. It's really pretty, it's easy to use. It's probably gonna go with anything I wear. Um, and the blush and the highlighter is in here too. And it's actually very light. Like it just, it feels very light. So it'd be easy to travel with. I like that. I think that's very convenient. Um, the dark palette, like I said, I'm more attracted to because of the shades that are in there. They're a little bit more bronzy. Although as you saw, they're still cooler um, than, than the glam, which is interesting. Um, but you've got a little bit more coppery shades and a little bit more bronze in here. And I think it's really beautiful. So, you know, I think both of them are, are great. Um, they are available right now on Sephora. They sold out, they came back, they sold out. <laughs> I think they're also available on Beautylish and of course Natasha Denona. Uh, I mentioned Sephora first because the 20% off until the 15th if they're available on the site. I'm thrilled that I have these both. I hope she comes out with more of them. Uh, I really like this setup. For me, this is really convenient and I really like it. It's especially great for travel. Uh, Again, that's something that's a preference for me. But I think the shades all blended beautifully. The formula is excellent. Like it's it's Natasha Denona quality. Very creamy, very blendable. And the formula for the highlighter and the blush, I really like. The blush has this like creaminess. It's a cream blush, but it's not, it's not wet. It almost feels like, you know, it reminds me of the Chantecaille blush, which I really love. That's what it reminds me of. It's just, it goes on beautifully. And the other one, the, the dark one stayed all day. I'm sure this will do the same. Um, and the highlighter is really beautiful. I really like the lighter one on me and the blush. Although this blush did have to get built up. Uh, with the dark, I just put like a tiny, tiny bit on and it was perfect. So depends on your preference there. But the shades in the eyeshadow are beautiful. You know, I have, uh, I have nothing bad to say. I really don't. I know a lot of times people don't believe us when we say like, I mean, us as in content creators when we just really like something we don't have anything bad but sometimes something is just really well done and this is really well done so I really like it I hope she has more of them because the two that she came out with yes it's great that she had a dark shade and a light shade but I think you could do a lot more um, so that everybody could um, could find one that that was one that they loved um, but I'm I'm glad that she came out with two of them it's awesome so I think that's it for today, guys. Um, if there's any other comparisons you wanna see, I do know that people wanna see comparisons with the highlighters. I will try to do that with the Chantecaille, Pat McGrath, etc. cetera. Um, so hopefully I'll have that up on Instagram. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon.